Now to a Channel 3 exclusive tonight at 11 o'clock. A Summers High School student's racist social media post is at the center of an investigation. The young woman wore blackface and used a slur. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne joins us now live outside Summers High School with the disturbing details. And Roger, what are other students saying tonight? Well, Aaron, you know, African-American summer students that we spoke with tonight tell us that this incident is just more evidence that this high school still struggles with deep-seated racial issues. A summer's high school student's social media post is sparking outrage. The young woman put on blackface and used the N-word. We aren't identifying the student and are blurring her face because she is a minor. But tonight, her classmates are denouncing her actions. You knew what you were doing. You're not five. You're 17 years old. You knew what you were doing when you put that on your face. You knew what you were doing when you took a picture of it. And you definitely knew what you were doing when you posted it for everybody to see. Ashanti Brown is a junior at Summers High School. As an African American, she's greatly offended by the post that was made Friday, along with the video posted by the same student that shows her and another student wearing blackface. But sadly, Ashanti isn't surprised by it. But when I seen it, I was just like, here we go again. You see, just two years ago, Summers High School was rocked by another racial scandal after a white student referred to Ashanti's friend, 2017 Summers graduate Zamani Simpson, as an N-word in a text message. Zamani told us tonight, these kind of incidents leave lasting scars. When I was around people, I, I was angry, you know, I talked about it, whatever, but behind closed doors, you know, I would cry. I would be upset, enraged, but there's not much I can do about it. Samani says the student who used that slur two years ago only received a three-day suspension, which further inflamed racial tensions at the school. They'll never understand what it feels like to be a minority in a school with not a bunch of people, but like a specific group of people that hate you for absolutely no reason, just because of the color of your skin. Like, that's hurtful. Ashanti hopes this incident will serve as a wake-up call especially because she has little brothers who also attend the school. It would literally break my heart if they had to go through half of the stuff that I went through as a freshman. My brother's a freshman. He shouldn't have to worry about being called an N-word or have to be scared to go to school just because he's black. Now, Summers Superintendent Brian Zappala sent us this statement tonight. He writes, this unacceptable incident involving two students does not reflect the culture of our Summers Public Schools community. Upon being made aware of the inexcusable social media posts, immediate action was taken. As our investigation proceeds, appropriate measures will continue to be taken as this type of behavior will not be tolerated in our school system. And by the way, the African-American students that we spoke with tonight here in Summers tell us they certainly will be paying close attention to what, if any, punishment is eventually handed down. Reporting live tonight in Summers, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.